Oh, do I have a video for you? So let me give you the uh, business use case. A client came to us and as it stands at the moment, when they send a quote to a client, there's a list of questions in the quote that they need to answer in order to proceed with the quote. So it's going to ask for things like the, the name of the solicitor that they're working with, um, the name of the estate agent that they're working with. And these questions are all here. OK, but at the moment, we don't have any form at all. What would typically happen in this instance is the client would respond to the email with the answers to the questions. So the admin team for this particular business could then input all of the information. It was a very, very manual process. Now, the client came to me with a really clever idea. He was like, Nick, can we use forms to automate the entire sequence? So when a new form is submitted containing the information that they require, then it triggers all of the other steps in the process, such as the DocuSign being sent. Once the DocuSign is completed, then the next step. We already have DocuSign integration done. We have zero integrations done and all of this, that and the other. But we don't have this form set up yet. Now, the problem with the form set up is we were kind of left with two options. Well, I only thought we had one option really was to include the job reference number in the actual as a question on the form and we were going to send it in the email the job reference number relating to that particular quote so they would have to manually copy and paste the job reference number from the email to the form the problem is because the estate agent name phone email the solicitor name email phone none of this data is unique to the quote so someone puts in a quote none of that information is unique there's no way of referencing that information so we can connect the client capture form information to the quote itself so I was scratching my head the, the client didn't want to include the job reference number. He didn't want to ask the clients how to put their email in again or anything else. So I was like, mm, what are we going to do? I've come up with a solution and I want to show it to you. It's absolutely incredible. It's essentially allows us to connect information or update information without the client or the, the front end user having to enter in that information. So it all works in the background. I'm going to show you how to set it up. It is absolutely fantastic. So. If we first and foremost go to the quotes area, um, what we need to do is add two text columns, okay? So that's job number one, it's really, really simple. This video is gonna get a little bit more complicated. So I'm just gonna call this form URL, okay? And then I'm gonna add another plus, another text column, and then I'm gonna call this form actual. So that's step number one. Now, step number two, if you haven't done this already, is you need a client capture form and this needs to be separate. So this board needs to be its own board with all of the questions for the form submission. On here, I've got a job reference number that will come into play later on in this video. And then all of the questions that I'm going to be asking in the form. OK, so this is important. Now, what we've got is a connection between the client capture form board and the quotes board. There's a two way connection and you'll be able to see that on the right hand side there and also reflect here as well. You can see all of this information is empty at the moment. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to copy the link from the client capture form, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'm going to copy the link. And then what I want to do is on the quotes area, I just want to go to the three dotted button up the top, define default values. And then for the form URL, I need you to define the default value, the form default value as the client capture form the link literally just the link so every time a new quote is created the form url is always going to be that link to that client capture form it's just the standard link nothing needs to change about it okay and that's it okay so we've got our text column set up we've got our client capture form set up on a separate board connections between the different boards i don't really need to show you how to do that and then we've got our form url automatically populating automatically like i said automatically when a new quote is added so this is going to be for every single quote okay so those are the first three steps they were the easy ones now fourth step in this complicated process i need to you to go to the three dotted button in the top right hand corner and i need you to go to power ups and then app marketplace and i need you to add a new application called general caster some of you may be familiar with it some of you may not general caster allows us to take monday.com to a new level new heights it gives us way more flexibility and customization options when it comes to automations and stuff like that um, so i need you to go ahead download that add that to your monday.com system it's a fan fantastic platform it's incredible it's remarkable um glowing re gl glowing report from me general cast has been very useful for us in the past i already have general caster downloaded on their monday.com system so i'm good to go so now once you've got general caster downloaded i need you to go to automate in the top right hand corner i need you to create a new automation so we're going to go to add automation top left hand corner and then we need to create a trigger and then an action. Now, the trigger is going to be when the column value changes. And in this particular instance, the column value is going to be the 
uh, job reference number actually. So when the job reference number changes, then I need to run a formula using general caster. Now I'm going to walk you through the formula. Now this may seem a little bit scary. So first and foremost, just search for general caster. You're now going to have options on here. And what we need to do is perform a formula. So when job reference number changes, perform formula and cast a result to a column. That's all we need to do. Awesome. So now this is loaded. I'm firstly going to make it easy and just cast the result to. So we're casting the result to the form actual. So what we're doing is we get the, the standard form link. We're then going to run a formula to customize the link. And then we're going to post it to the form actual. OK, so the formula goes as follows and I'm literally going to copy and paste it. So we've got quotes form URL and then we've got quotes job reference number. So the form URL is the first text column that we created. Um, go ahead and delete any information here and then we just want to put that as form URL. OK, and then I'm just going to tidy up this formula. Um, so quotes form URL and then we need to add and text seven i'll come on to this in a moment and then the uniqueness of this is obviously the job reference number populated on the quotes board okay so you might have a slightly different unique ref or you, you could be using something else you could even use the client's email if you wanted to um it would look a little bit weird up in the the form link above um but you just need to close this and then the the item id or the unique reference that you're referring to to make this all possible so you can tie a client capture form submission to a quote submission and then we've got this text column now the text column is a little bit of a weird situation i'm just going to walk you through it now so we need to map the quote reference number to the relevant column on the client capture form so we've got the job reference number here now as you probably noticed it's not going to be called the job reference number unfortunately there's a back-end naming convention within monday.com and we need to go ahead and find this information so how are we going to do it well the easiest trick in the book is probably to use zapier so i've already gone ahead and done it for you uh, or sh show you how to do it so i've literally created a random zap i've gone into monday.com as the application the trigger event being new item in board um, and then all I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to add a new item on the client capture form called AAA and I'm going to call this job reference number, job reference number. And then in the actual job reference number, I'm just going to put job reference number. OK, so now if I go to configure, select the board that it's relating to. So obviously new item board, it's going to be that board. And then I'm just going to hit find new results. So it's going to find me the information. Now, this is the clever part. So item B is a new information. And as you can see here, the job reference number, so that data that we put in, the actual name of the column is text seven underscore underscore seven. So what we do with this information is we now go to our quotes area, go to automate, go to our board automation, not that one, board automation. And then we just need to update our formula to make sure it says and text seven underscore underscore one. Um, so if it was something different, you just need to within this. So don't delete the at. You just need at the and the ampersand. You just need to change this here. OK, just to update it. I know it's complicated, right? It's really, really complicated. There are other ways of getting the back end naming convention, but um, Zapier is like the easiest one for me. And um, you can use code. There are probably some easier ways of doing it as well. So now we have our automation set up. So that means that when I add a new quote, it's going to take this form URL. It's going to use the quote reference number to create a unique link for this whole process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate that. FYI, for the job reference number, we're actually using Zapier to run the job referencing, which is um, which is really helpful. It just means that it does take a moment or two for the job reference to pull through. Um, well, it's been quite quick here. So now you can see that we've just automatically, without having to do anything, that automation, that general caster automation has run and it's created a unique link. So, and as you can see, in this link, 2410177, it has an identical match to the job reference number. So now I'm going to show you what's going to happen. This is the clever part. So estate agent name is me. My phone number 01494 256996. Estate agent email nick at crmcrew.com. I'm not an estate agent, FYI. Uh, solicitor name, nor am I a solicitor. Um, it's nick at crmcrew.com. Phone number 4407. Not that one. <laughs> 01494 256996. And then I'm just going to write in here initial queries. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit submit. Now you want to watch magic happen. So that is going to create a new piece of information on here, as you can see. And it literally, we've just done that, but it's automatically connected to the quote 
because the job reference number has pulled through. You probably have noticed we didn't have to enter in the job reference number on that form. It's just automatically happened. And then it connected with the quote. Now you might be wondering, well, how is this just connected to the quote? Um, so we've got an automation running. If we go to automate in the top right hand corner, this is a standard monday.com automation. When an item is created in this board, connect the item where the job reference number matches job reference number in quotes by this logic. That automation, as you can literally see, uh, if I click into that, has just run. So it's seven o'clock in the morning here on the 1st of October. Um, and you can see that was earlier when I was testing this video. And you can see this is literally just run now, which is so, so cool, right? So now what we're going to do, the way this is going to work, you see it's automatically connected on this side as well. So now what we're going to do is we'll automatically send this link to the client in the quote email, and then if they fill this out, it will update the information here. And then what it's going to do is trigger all of the next steps. So the way the client wants it to work is when the form's completed, then the DocuSign automatically gets sent and then everything else trickles down from there. So the way it's already set up is when the DocuSign's completed, then it sends the invoice, automatically raises an invoice in their, in their zero system. And then when the invoice is paid, it then automatically notifies them, say invoice is paid, uh, moves them over to close one and then creates a new item on their actual process board um, for managing the fulfillment and then ask them when they would like to book in. So that whole process is kind of taken care of. But this is now set up. This is awesome. So happy with this. So that's how to do it. I hope this made sense to you. You may just have finished this video and gone, what on earth is this man just spoken about? Um, apologies for that. If you'd like any help with this, I'd love to help. Um, there's way more complicated stuff we can do with Monday as well. This is kind of just touching the service surface of it all. If you'd like us to automate, integrate, streamline, or set up your business, check out the link below. We would love to help using monday.com or any other applications. Hopefully this has proven to you that I somewhat know what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, buddy.